Hello, Jeff, sports card investor. How are you? I'm great, man. I'm here in your home country, excited to experience sports cards north of the border. This episode of Sports Card Investor is brought to you by eBay eBay is here for the card collectors with a trick for every trade. Like advanced tools for price checking with the price guide beta within the eBay app and up to 50% faster listing with image scan. Learn how collecting just got smarter at ebay.com forward slash trading hub. We've gone north of the border to one of the biggest card shows in the world. It's the Sport Card and Memorabilia Expo here in Toronto. And I cannot wait to see what amazing things we're about to find on this show floor. Hey guys, I'm here with David from Global Vintage out of Edmonton. And his booth has exactly the type of stuff I was expecting to see. Some amazing, rare hockey memorabilia. David, tell me about some of the pieces you have here in your booth. Well, we've got some game-worn jerseys. Uh, we've got a Detroit Red Wings that was recycled to the uh, Pittsburgh Hornets in the 60s. This is actually Marcel Dion's jersey that he wore when he was in junior with the St. Catharines Blackhawks. And this is from 1961. It's Dickie Moore's Montreal Canadiens game-worn jersey. That would be a first-year Edmonton Oilers jersey from the NHL 1979-80. And the last one on the end was worn by Curtis Lazar in, in the Memorial Cup in 2014 when he scored the winning goal in triple overtimes, the longest game in Memorial Cup history, and that's the jersey he was wearing. You've got some amazing pieces, and I notice a lot of kind of interesting autograph pieces as well yeah, and yeah. old historical pieces. Yeah. Out of all of those, what's your personal favorite piece in your collection here? Well, I love the old autographs. Uh, in one of my showcases here, I have a beautiful collection of vintage autographs going back to the 30s and 40s. That's really popular with people. It, you, you don't find that stuff very often. Uh, I also like the sets. So we've got some complete sets. Programs are very interesting. But my personal favorite is the pre-war hockey cards. Yes. Yeah. Very, very rare, very unusual. Yeah, from 1910 into the 30s. Yeah, yeah amazing. Yeah, yeah. You hear you hear about the pre-war baseball cards all the time. They have a tremendous collector yes. passion for those. I've never seen the pre-war hockey card, so we're seeing something brand new to me here up in Toronto. David, thank you for your time. Now, this is the type of exciting stuff I was really hoping to see at this show. You got cases full of really nice hockey cards, tons of on-card autos of hockey stars. This is the stuff you just never see at shows in the US, so it's pretty cool to be here and see so much hockey represented. Now in the US, we like our NFL shields on our football cards. Well, in hockey, you've got the NHL shield on beautiful hockey cards. This one is from Upper Decks, the Cup, and it's a Dominic Hasek on-card auto. He's one of the best goalies ever to play the sport of hockey. That is a really, really cool hockey card. And look at that, a Dominic Hasek one of one card. Look, I, I don't follow hockey super closely, but I follow it enough to know that this guy was an absolutely incredible goalie. I have, I have never seen these before. Look at all of these buttons cards. This is really, really quite fascinating. That's really cool. Everybody loves the you know, relics and material swatches on cards. Of course, you got cleat cards of baseball and football players that you see in sets all the time. Apparently button cards are a big thing in hockey collecting, really cool. So one thing I've discovered at this show is that some of these upper deck hockey cards, the stuff in them is so freaking cool. Like, look at this. You got cards of the player's sticks. You've got signed pucks. And look at these, Connor McDavid, beautiful signed puck there with gold ink. You know, Hall of Famers, one of ones. Look at this Wayne Gretzky sign puck. That thing is sick. And then, you've got, of course, you've got these incredible autograph cards of Hall of Famers. You'll see these in other sports as well, but it's neat to see all these hockey teammates on the same card. And then look at the patches. Like, the patches in some of these hockey cards put some of the cards in American sports to shame. I mean, look at, look at the patches through here, too. Just absolutely incredible patches 
ridiculousness how awesome these patches are. Mickey, 15 years old, is showing me some pretty sweet cards that he brought with him to the card show. John ja Moran and RJ Barrett from Eminence. That one's real sweet. On card autos, really, really cool. Hey guys, I came to this card show hoping to find some really high end hockey cards, and I just found some. This is Frankie from London, Ontario, and he's got a nice case right here. Frankie, can you show me some of your best cards in here? Yeah, some of my favorite cards that I've always collected were the Future Watch cards mm -hmm. in hockey. Um, this particular particular card comes out of the set SP Authentic. Yep. And it's probably you know the second most premier collected set next to the Upper Deck Series One and Two, which feature the Young Gun rookies in hockey. Yep. And yeah, as you can see, uh, these these particular cards here are just some of the most aesthetically looking cards. Very beautiful. Crosby, Ovechkin, definitely need no introduction on those cards. Um, definitely one of the more sought after rookie cards in hockey there on those. And then um, I, I see up here the most sought after rookie card in hockey, the classic Wayne Gretzky 1979 Opeechee. You got a lot of these. Yeah, I, I definitely do have a few. Um, I actually have a few more, uh, but these obviously are the ones that I'm selling at the show uh, in the, over the next four days, hopefully. Um, but yeah, iconic card, a must have, and not just any hockey card collector's collection, but just any, you know, collection in general, right? Um, all ranging, you know, from a five there, all the way up to an eight. These are one of those cards kind of in that category, right? That everyone's always looking for, right? Absolutely. Frankie, thank you. This yeah, is an awesome, it. awesome collection. Thanks a lot. Before I leave Canada, I am definitely going to invest in at least one high-end hockey card. And this one, it's caught my eye. The signature for the, from the GOAT, and then the guy who's aspiring to be the next GOAT on the same card from the same team, pretty sweet. That's an amazing, amazing booklet card. You guys know I'm a sucker for complete sets, right? I love complete autograph sets specifically. You wanna talk about a complete autograph set? Look at this. This is the complete set of 2005, 2006, the Cup Hockey. All autographs, all the patch cards. Unbelievable, it is RPAs for days with a $400,000 asking price from Pastime Sports. But man, if you're into hockey, this, this is like a grail set without a doubt. Hey guys, I'm here with Hunter from Pastime Sports and Games. I was just marveling at your cup complete set over there, but I noticed you got a lot of additional amazing things in this booth. Why don't you show me a couple of the best pieces you have here at this show? I would love to do that. Uh, for starters, obviously hockey town, lots of hockey stuff, but we do carry lots of other things. Uh, for example, autographed Lou Gehrig and Babe Ruth wow. baseball. And, uh, they both autographed that. Both Gehrig autographed and Ruth. With a 25K price tag, all authenticated, of course. And we also have wow. the Mickey Mantle rookie card. Look at that. Graded at one and a half, still going for 40K. That's it. That's the famous 1952 Tops card there. Wow, absolutely beautiful, beautiful card. Doesn't matter the condition of those cards. They are always desirable by collectors. Amazing. Absolutely, absolutely. Kobe Bryant autograph jersey. Beautiful. Uh, from Panini Authenticated. Uh, one of my favorite pieces, the number 24 signature there. Yeah, with the that's incredible. At 20K. Absolutely, beautiful uh, piece. Amazing And then look at this box too. right here. You've got a sealed case from Luca and Trey's rookie year, 2018 Flawless. Man, would that be fun to rip into. Wouldn't that be fun to rip You wanna do it right now? Oh, uh, absolutely. Yeah, just Let's tell my boss it. to go away. <laughs> we'll have some fun. Wow, what about these shoes? What's this? We have Michael Jordan game used, autographed, both shoes. Game used? So these were shoes that Jordan actually used in a game? Yes, sir. Autographed. For 35K. For 35K, wow. Thank you, Hunter, I appreciate it. Yeah, of course. Wonderful boot, wonderful Thank you boot. so much. Thanks for stopping by, guys. Really appreciate it. You never know what you're gonna find on the show floor of a big card show. And Jason here, he watches the channel and he said, Jeff, I gotta show you a couple of my cards. Man, did he show me some cards. These are absolutely incredible. The playoff contenders, uh, Tom Brady 2000 card, auto on the card, his absolutely 
most coveted card. And then look at the Patrick Mahomes RPA from National Treasures, number to 10. That is the gold RPA. Absolutely incredible cards. Jason, I'm sure these are two you are very proud of. Oh yeah, for sure, yeah. If you're into ripping wax, this is your dream. This is every single box of Upper Deck Series 1 and 2 hockey from 1990 all the way through to this year. That's over 30 years of Upper Deck Series 1 and 2 boxes, and every single one of them can be yours right now for just a little under $30,000. What a rip party that would be. Do you recognize Jeremy Lee from Sports Card Live? He's got an amazing YouTube show. But today, Jeremy, you're here at this show as a dealer. I am. I yeah. mean, this is your home turf. We're this up here in your home turf of Canada. Yeah, man. This is uh, 15 years running I've been setting up at this show. Just like this. Just like this. Awesome. Well, yeah. I'm excited to be here. You've got a great collection. Show me a few of the cards that you like the most out of what you've got here in your showcases. Stop. I like a lot of these cards, Jeff, but I'm going to show you a couple. I want to show you this one here. I love this card. I'm going to just cover the prices, but this is a triple autograph of Wayne Gretzky, Bobby Orr, and Patrick Waugh. What I, what I love wow. about this card, number one, it's on card. Yeah. It's out of 15. The autographs are still bright and bold, yeah. but you got the best, what I believe to be the best forward of all time, the best defenseman of all time, and the best goaltender of all time. That's incredible. And yeah. normally when you see those triple autograph cards, most of the time they're sticker autos. Often. So the fact that that is an on card, all three of them, that's really special. Yeah, yeah that's a great, Neat. I love I love that card. I love right. that card. Uh, I'll, let me show you a Bobby Orr rookie here. I've got a few of them, but this is, this one's special. This is a, it's a PSA 5.5, super strong for the grade. It looks really nice. It's an amazing five yeah. and a half. Yeah, I, it I, really is nice. I actually bought this at this show two or three years ago and uh, still have it. It's an amazing Bobby Orr. It's, Beautiful. You know, one of the, one of the real blue chip cards in the hockey yeah. vintage hobby. Absolutely. You want to see a crazy, crazy patch? Sure. Show me a crazy patch. Let's see it. This is, this might be uh, one of my favorite cards I have with me this show. Boom. Wow. This is an Alexander Ovechkin. Wow. It's a game used. Game off used. Of the, game whole, used. E the whole eagle head. Amazing. That is yeah. really, really cool. It's a Panini Prime card too. Neat. Very neat. Yeah, yeah. absolutely yeah. amazing. Very, yeah. very neat. So there's a few, wow. a few of my favorites. Wow, you got some amazing stuff, Jeremy. This is great. So, Thanks, Jeff. Well, yeah, welcome to uh, welcome to the Expo in Canada. I appreciate it. It's great to be here. This is a lot of yeah. fun, and I'm I'm being immersed in all of the hockey. I'm yeah, excited well, to pick up some of my first hockey cards this weekend. Good, take it in, enjoy it. This is a great show. It's huge, and uh, yeah, it should be great. Perfect. And I think you're going to be interviewing me on the stage in a little bit. Yeah, so. in about an hour's time. We'll see you up there. Look forward to it. Thanks, Jeremy. Good, stuff. Thanks, Good to Jeff. see you. <laughs> Yeah, so we're Royalty Card Supplies. We're based in uh, Vaughan, Ontario, Canada. We actually wanted to gift you a graded card briefcase. Oh, no way. So that's uh, that's all yours. Um, this one's actually brand new. So I'm Wow, look at this. Royalty royalty card supplies. Card supplies. Oh, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. I know your LeBron collection. And yes. It's definitely going to go nice in here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You got the individual yeah. slots. Yeah. I love that. I will, I will walk that around proudly. It's awesome. Minty cards. Yeah. Congratulations on your business. Yeah, let me see what you got over here. That's really neat. Stanley Cup. What do you think about that Mbappe there? That's a 2017 Topps Chrome. Chrome yeah. yeah, it's a really iconic card for Mbappe. It's definitely considered a rookie. That is probably one of the higher valued Mbappes you can get your hands on. Yeah, I've got the 2018 World Cup Prism Mbappe, but I, I don't have any 2017 that. Mbappe. I prefer, I prefer that. I okay. Like that one a lot nicer too than the Prism. Okay. I do too. Oh uh, yeah, just an 8.5 surface. Yeah. 9.5 on everything else. So a true gem minus one <laughs> minus one grade minus one grade that slipped a little bit there. What is what's your price on that? I'm asking 13 Canadian. The last two comps were 12 US. Oh man, I got to learn my conversion rates. What, what's I don't know what the conversion rate is. What's the conversion rate? <laughs> We have about a built-in 20% discount, I think. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, so 13 Canadian. I thought you were American. I understand the pain now. Yeah. We get requests from Canadian users of our app to like, you know, yeah, so it's now I understand hard. Now I understand the pain. So these are all like recent sales. So some of these went for more, but that was like immaculate and that was national treasures. But like, this was absolute. That one went for 10,000. 
PSA, uh, PSA 9, it had an auto. This one doesn't have an auto. No. I don't know. What, what are you thinking? So those are ones that are interesting to you? Yeah, well... Here's what, here's, here's what I would do. I would, yep. I, would give you, I would give you this card and 600 US for that. 600. 600 US. US. Uh, if I were to get this card, I would need to be at at least 700 US. At least 700 US? Yeah. Man, do I want to sell Zion during the dip? It's a big Zion dip right it's now. It's also a dip for Mbappe. So it's a dip for Mbappe we're, we're too. We're both getting the dips. They're both, you're hitting the dips on both cards. Yeah. Will you meet halfway at 650? Let's do it. You got a deal. Awesome. Good appreciate stuff, it. man. Good stuff. Appreciate I appreciate it. it. There we yeah. go. Got our first deal done north of the border. I like it. I like it. <laughs> oh, I don't know if you got change because I don't got change for US. You don't have change for US? I well, got... well, you know what? We'll have to do it. We'll have to add another card in. How about that? That sounds good with me. We'll add another card in. Oh, well, if you like wax, got a bunch of Pokemon. I know your son. Oh, you my po son likes Pokemon. oh now you're talking my language. Yeah, now look, you're talking my cards. language. That's a new set that just came out with the Fusion Strike. That just came out yesterday. Oh my gosh, let's do that. All right. All right. So how about, so that's 80 Canadian? Yeah, so I don't know what that is American. All right, so here we go. Here we go, we got a deal, we got a deal. We got a, a Zion, $710 going over there. We got a Pokemon box and the Mbappe refractor coming over here. Awesome, good stuff. I appreciate it. Appreciate it, thank you very much. I'm that was fun, look at you. that. Making deals, cards, making right. deals, minty cards. Day one of the Sport Card and Memorabilia Expo has come to an end, but it was a great day. And tomorrow, I'll be back for more, looking to make my first big hockey card deal while here in Canada. Until then, see you later.